I saw him, I thought he was going to faint. The filth and squalor enough to make grown men falter. You were taken over by the smell. That was it. This is the first look we're getting at the living area inside the house on St. Paul Street in Blackstone, Massachusetts, where 31-year-old Erica Murray lived with her four children and where police discovered the bodies of three infants hidden in a closet in September. Uh, just debris, just uh, hoarding. And, uh, those were, in, you had four dead animals and, uh, you know, uh, uh, for uh, three dead children and people living in there. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Town Administrator Daniel Keyes was one of the few people to don a hazmat suit and go inside to document what was there before the house was condemned and torn down. The images are incredibly disturbing. Mounds of trash, countless soiled diapers, a dead dog lying on a mattress, piles of feces on the floor, smeared on the walls, even ceilings. That had to be removed because all the feces. The filthy mattresses had no linens. The bathtub is full of trash and clothes and food. Key says the garbage at some points reached as high as the ceiling. Those young children had to go through that. And to, to think that they had to live in those conditions were just unbearable. The state quickly removed Murray's four living children, aged 13 to just five months old. The bodies of the three infants were found days later by police searching the home. Prosecutors say two of them were found in bags hanging in a bedroom closet wearing diapers and dressed in onesies. Murray is behind bars. She's pleaded not guilty to, among other things, fetal death concealment and child endangerment charges. Her attorney says because of delays in her case, she has yet to be evaluated by a psychiatrist. This is a woman who has not seen a, a doctor or any medical professional for over a decade. She's barely been out of that house for a decade. The photos reveal heartbreaking reminders that children live there. Holiday dresses hang neatly in a closet. Toddler games poke through the debris. A Tinkerbell suitcase sits cheerily askew atop a mountain of trash. But it is another image that will haunt Daniel Keyes. Upstairs in the bedroom, um, the smell and just the sight of the walls and the feces on the walls in the uh, handprint on the wall of a little baby. Um, that, that has been with me and uh, probably will live with me forever. As for the criminal case of Erica Murray, it's on hold while the medical examiner finishes the autopsies on the remains of the three infants. As for the children's alleged father, Raymond Rivera says he didn't know anything about the conditions upstairs. He claims to have lived in the basement. He was arrested on drug charges and is out on bail. Both of them are due back in court in January. In Blackstone, Massachusetts, Allie Dunley, NECN.